this is the forbidden video. The reason that this is the forbidden video is that I'm showing you things that you don't need to know yet. The reason that I'm showing you things that you don't need to know yet is because I want to use them myself. And I feel that I should not be using these keystrokes without showing them to you first. So go ahead and skip over this video and come back to it when you want to know how it is that I'm doing the things that I'm doing with the cursor and with the program. A programming environment is sort of like a uh, sort of like a spoken language. When you gain fluency, you have certain keystrokes that allow you to do things smoothly and rapidly. In Racket, the pieces that you're manipulating the most frequently are expressions, sometimes also called S expressions. Okay? Things like three, four, and let's create a whole bunch of more junk. Here we go. These are some S expressions that make absolutely no sense at all, but are long and allow us to manipulate them. Okay, great. Here we have a bunch of S expressions. The first thing I'm gonna show you is that by holding down the Option key and moving forward back, we can go to the beginning and to the end. Notice that when I hit Option right, I don't, I don't, I move to the end of the whole program here because the rest of this is all in one pair of parentheses. Also, the gray highlighting shows you the boundaries of the current S expression. If I move left, then these smaller S expressions are highlighted. There's one, two, three, four, five, five S expressions inside of this larger single S expression. Okay. The next thing I can do is hold down the shift key while I'm doing that same thing. And then the effect is to highlight the expressions that I'm moving over. So I'm holding down the shift key now and I'm hitting option right to highlight this whole S expression. Or moving inside of this, I can hold down shift option left, left, left to highlight these three S expressions. I can cut them all at once. I can paste them out there. I just moved three little S expressions outside of that other S expression you'll notice that they no longer are lined up in quite the way I would expect them to be. I can fix that by hitting the tab key. The tab key in Dr. Racket moves a line to where it's supposed to go. So if I hit tab right now, what I'll see is that it's lined up with the prior line so it doesn't move. If I hit tab on this line, what I'll see is that it does move in order to line itself up. And now if I go to this line, and hit tab, it moves to where it ought to be, where Racket thinks it ought to be, and the same is true for this line. And naturally, I can do the same thing to whole bundles of lines. So let me undo, 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 and now let's highlight all of these and hit tab, and they all get lined up correctly. Okay. So we now know about arrow keys and about holding down uh, the option to move by S expressions and shift an option to highlight S expressions in order to cut and paste them. But that's not all. Uh, the next thing that I want to show you uh, is what I'm calling electric parentheses. So if we highlight several expressions by holding down shift and option, let's say these three, let's say I want to wrap parentheses around all three of these. Let's say these three are arguments to a particular operator. I can now, after highlighting them, I'm going to use the, for you it's going to be escape left paren. For me it's just paren to highlight all three to wrap parens around all three of these. Notice there's an opening one here and there's now a closing one uh, down here. In my key bindings, I have the regular paren mapped to that electric parentheses. So when I just hit paren, it automatically wraps dink, parens around both of them. And now this is no longer lined up, so let's highlight it all and hit tab, and now it's all organized and lined up again. I have two more things to show you. They'll both be real quick. Uh, the first is this. Uh, control C, Control O, which moves an S expression outward and discards its context. Yeah, that's nice. And, and also Control C, Control E, which simply unwraps the m most closely wrapping pair of parentheses. And finally, Control X, Control T. Sorry. <laughs> no. Escape Control T, uh, which swaps to S expressions, undo. Okay, there you go, a whole bunch of stuff that you didn't feel like you needed to know, but now I feel like I can use those keystrokes without having to explain them or feeling guilty about the fact that I haven't told them to you. Thanks.